the content we move tool what you do with this you select an area and then you move it to a different part of the image and then Photoshop automatically fills in the area that you left behind placing it seamlessly so it looks like it naturally belongs so when you're using the tool all you gotta do is just click down to start making your selection and then just select over whatever you want to move once you have an active selection you just click and drag it and move it wherever you want once you let go you'll see it has the transform box around it so you can make it bigger smaller um, rotate it do whatever you gotta do you can also flip it by clicking these um, once you click done Photoshop will automatically remove it from where it was and bring it to where you moved it to if we zoom into the area where we removed it from you can see it doesn't get it perfect uh, so you might have to retouch up some things but when you zoom out it doesn't look that bad so depending on your project you might have to retouch it and you might not you can also do things like remove rings or unwanted things that you're wearing glasses whatever you just make a selection around it can move it click done now you can see Photoshop does its best to remove it and when you zoom out you barely even notice it so let's go over the top options up here now first obviously it's the same as every other tool we got the presets if you made any presets they'll be here next we got selection options so these four options are just for when you're making your selection they have nothing to do with how anything gets blended it's just for pinpointing your selection so the first one this is just new selection and this is what it'll be on by default so when you use it it's just a fresh new selection if I were to click this this is add to selection so say you already have an active selection you can add to it by either connecting on it and adding a part or you can make a completely separate selection somewhere else in the image so now we have two active selections add to that we got subtract from selection this is exactly the opposite as add to you're just subtracting from so if I were to circle this entire selection here it's gonna completely get rid of it if I were to just come in here and make a selection like that it'll just get rid of that part and then last one is intersect with selection so what this does say I make a circle right and then I choose intersect with selection and I made another circle it's only going to keep the area of the selection where both the circles intersect see right there after that we got mode and this is the remix mode there's two options you got move and extend by default you're going to be set to move and I already showed you that where you make a selection and then you click and drag it click done and it moves it now I'm going to show you what extend does so if I were to come here and say circle this water all right I got a good selection of the water and then I wanted to click and move it just move it up a little bit so it covers that up you can also transform this so I'll make it a little bigger um, you can also flip it same as the other mode then we click done deselect and you can see it extends it out a little bit all right so if I were to move this picture down up to about here or let's just move it up all right so if I were to just select this part right let's just go right here and then I just moved it down a little bit so it just filled out that empty space on the canvas all right move it over just line it up as good as you can let go again you can transform it if you want flip it vertical and diagonal 
Uh, it looks pretty good to me, so I'm just going to click done. Once you click done, click deselect. After that, we got structure and color sliders. Now structure, this adjusts how strictly the store structure will be preserved. And then color, this adjusts how much source color can be modified. So let me go back to the move mode and then we'll turn the structure all the way down to one. Make a selection, move it, click done. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to turn the structure all the way up to seven. That's the max. Move it, click done. And that's what it looks like. I just leave it set at four. Uh, next we got color obviously you've seen what it did with no color all right so now let's bring color up to 10 and that's what it looks like after that we got sample all layers now you'd use this if you're working on a composite and the pixels you're trying to select and move are on multiple different layers so you could have different adjustments or filters and all types of things right so that's when you use that and last but not least, we got transfer on drop. So this is just when you click and drag, and then right when you let go, it puts the transform box on there. If I didn't have this on, it would just move it and be done. So that's the Content Aware Move tool. If you got any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.